What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I mean, what do you want? Oh, so now I need to want something. Well, ideally, otherwise you wouldn't be here bothering me. You're right, I do want something. My breath is baited, Adam. I don't want to bother you. <laughs> Adam. I mean, preferably not through the door because that's a bit weird. But Adam. But Jen, we can go for a drive. Maybe somewhere with food's still open. Maybe not. I mean, we could always just sit and talk to one another, as scary as that sounds. It'll be fun. Fun for you. I mean, do you really think that I'd bother you with something boring? I mean, this is a top tier middle of the night adventure, so really I'm doing this for your benefit. Come on, you can bully me in the car. Fine, whatever. Just let me get changed. I was probably just gonna go to bed anyway. Give me a sec. up. You shouldn't have. Oh, I know. Ain't I a sweetheart? <laughs> Not the word that I would use. And what's the word you'd use to describe somebody who puts on makeup before going to bed? What? You were going to sleep, weren't you? And you look like you were about to go to the Met Ball. If I was going to go to the Met Ball, I wouldn't be wearing this comfortably casual jacket. So, going to bed with a full face of makeup is just a daily occurrence for you then? Why did you even drag me out here, Adam? I didn't think I needed verified reasons to want to hang out with my friend. Oh, so now you want to hang out with me? Because I distinctly remember when I asked you if you wanted to go out for drinks with some friends, you said no. Or, or when I asked you if you wanted to get lunch after class, you said no. Or even that time when I asked you if you wanted to join in the protest to say no to racism, you said, oh, well, I'm strongly against racism of any kind. Okay, I get it. You made it abundantly clear that you wanted to be left alone. Well, maybe I got tired of being alone, okay? You don't get to just keep me on retainer, Adam. You don't get to just drag me out to random paddocks whenever you're feeling lonely and, and tell me to go fuck myself when you're not. I don't just hang out with you when I'm lonely, alright Jen? The neighbours were having one of their weekly parties nearby and I couldn't sleep so I thought, oh, this is as good a time as ever to hang out with my friend Jen. But I didn't realise that I was such a fucking inconvenience. Well why didn't you try and join them, huh? Have a good time for Because one. I can't just do that, okay? Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm sorry. Mr. High and Mighty thinks that parties are beneath That's him. That's not what... Oh no, I shan't be in attendance for your soiree. I'm far too intellectual for that. Why does no one enjoy rereading Catcher in the Rye for the eighth time more than getting grinded upon as I do? Oh, whoa! Oh, well, what a crazy Friday night you had planned where you were in bed by fucking ten. Oh, well, well, I've got to make it quirky, so I'll put on a full face of makeup just so I can say that I've done something. Oh my god, I was going out. I was going to go out. That's why I've got makeup on, because surprisingly, some people enjoy living in the moment. But then, then you showed up like you did and I didn't want to leave you alone. Unfortunately, I didn't realise I'd be chaperoning your hissy fit over a fucking party. I'm not having a fucking hissy fit, alright? Then what the fuck is wrong with you, Adam? I can't just go to parties! I mean, physically, yeah, of course I can, but... When I do, I always just end up alone. And everyone's there, everyone's just having a great time, except me. And I don't know why, but it's like... Everybody is on the same wavelength and I'm just nowhere to be seen because I am the problem. Every time. I, okay. Well... 
first things first, I want you to know that I can't fix that. I'm not going to say some, some vaguely applicable shit and suddenly you're clubbing till dawn. Because if you just don't like party, that's fine, Adam. It, it really doesn't matter. But what do you expect to feel other than loneliness if all you ever do is isolate yourself? It's better to isolate myself than have everyone else do it for me. Yeah, but you're losing people in the process. You almost lost me tonight with your fucking shenanigans. You came out though. Almost lost me. But I don't turn my back on people that easily. I'm a real sweetheart like that. Well, um, we can still get you to where you were going. We can go back past your place and, and get all... Look, no offence, Adam, but I think I prefer to just sit in this moment. Just a bit longer. <laughs> uh, uh.